Hey, it's me. It's our great pleasure to welcome Katrina Gray. Katrina Gray is an actress originally from Slovakia. She makes her home in London. She's known for quite a few films, including Hard Target 2, Ghost House, the French film Bryce 3. She's also a screenwriter. Thanks so much for making the time to talk to us. Hi, thank you very much for having me. I'm happy to be on your radio show. Oh, our pleasure. So, I think most stories are best from the beginning. Tell us a little bit about where you're from and what life was like. Okay, so, uh, well, I come from Slovakia, from a very small village uh, in the west of Slovakia. And, um, yeah, pretty much since I was little, I was uh, uh, doing a theater as my hobby. And as I grew up uh, on during the high school, I was doing musicals uh, in Mexico. I got a scholarship to go there, so that was very exciting. And uh, eventually I ended up uh, in Thailand. I was doing modeling, acting, and commercials. And uh, recently I got into uh, my own production. I started to uh, write scripts and produce movies, uh, which one of my projects uh, I recently produced is called uh, Daytime Nightmare. You can find it on uh, Facebook, Daytime Nightmare, and online. So that's what I'm working on right now. So you've been to just there. That's quite a few places from around the world, Mexico, Thailand. Where have you been that you found the most thrilling? Thrilling? Um, Well, I think every country has something different. Uh, And, uh, you know, I guess it depends on the on the time of your life where you feel comfortable. But for me, it was like a journey so every time I went to another country I I found myself doing something else and uh, which was exciting at the time and which contributed to uh, what whatever I'm doing right now which is uh, producing writing and I think it was just um, literally the path and then I thought I learned a lot I met a lot of people different characters and you know, I've gained a lot of experience. Um, I got to know people and different cultures, which definitely created the person uh, and formed the person that I am right now and uh, helped me with my creativity and uh, acting as well. What did you find Mexico to be like? Uh, Mexico? Uh, it's very, very exciting country. A lot of uh, happiness laugh and warmth and uh, dance, music, the food, the culture is very colorful, I would say. What do you like about what you do? I really enjoy to get into different characters, the characters that I would never normally be in real life. So um, it's like a exploration of uh, different human beings Then you know, you can get to be whatever you want to be in the movie and then you recreate that person which basically is part of who you are but in small doses but you know you recreate it on screen and it's um it's never the same it's always different and that's why it's exciting and uh, it's like exploration i would say yeah that's what i like about what i do and but it of course it applies on uh script as well when i write i um, write all these characters it's really really exciting to live those stories as well what is it like to write a script how do you do it well i have a uh, certain movies that I are my favorite so definitely there are certain genres i i like the most which is uh, horror thriller action and sci-fi and also fantasy. So so that's what I like the most. So at the moment, uh, as my first script, I started to write Daytime Nightmare. And uh, it's psychological thriller slash horror because it has a uh, um, horror elements. But um, for example, this one is based on nightmares, as, as you can hear from the title, Daytime Nightmare. So it follows the story of Lucy who um, whose uh, nightmares become her daymares. So we are bringing the nightmares into real life. And uh, you see it through uh, from the point of view of a main character, Lucy, which I am uh, playing, uh, the main character, Lucy. 
And uh, it's this very twisted fairy tale modern story brought into modern times and uh, I think it's very interesting because you can explore the the someone else's um, mindset and point of view and while recreating the story that ne- haven't been done yet I mean many stories have been done and redone and remakes but this one is very unique so it's basically something that I wanted to see I wanted to uh, well, as a movie you know as a horror lover i wanted to i wanted to make this movie so other people can see you know this story that i personally like and the nightmares are uh, at times very scary at times are very magical at times very creepy so um it's very interesting you know it's it's never the same the the movie has many twists and the turns so uh never break uh, doesn't will not leave you bored definitely and at the moment it's in post-production so it's going to be ready in February 2019. And uh, then I'm going to take the movie to film festivals. So um, I'm going to uh, check out your local film festivals, hopefully for Daytime Nightmare. <laughs> and definitely I'm hoping to go to Atlanta as well and uh, many other cities in US. So um, yeah, so this is my directorial debut. And um, amongst my other projects that I'm working on and I enjoy writing is also uh, action fantasy that I'm working on my other titles. So that's uh, to be produced and working on, uh, working on it right now. So many more exciting stories and scripts. All right. And the Facebook address for that daytime nightmare if anyone wants to get in more information, it's facebook.com slash daytime nightmare movie. Can you tell us about the most memorable dream or nightmare that you've ever had? The most memorable. Um, I think the most memorable is the scene out of uh, Daytime Nightmare. So I would not want to go into the details. I want people to see it as a movie. But... Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, there are plenty, you know, but um, I think the most memorable I definitely used as a scene in a movie. So uh, check it out. And uh, I also um, posted lots of uh, behind the scenes from the movie. So you can see the colors I'm going for in a daytime nightmare. It has this 80s, 80s, 80s feeling. So um, check it out. Definitely the, uh, the Facebook fan page, Daytime Nightmare, and you can see what the Daytime Nightmare is going to look like based on the behind the scenes photography. You will see the little sneaks, sneak peeks, you know? Aha. Uh-huh. So you were mentioning a moment ago that one of your favorite genres of film is horror. Yes. Why horror? I think because... Uh, for example, I mean, uh, there are certain dramas I like, but there must have their plot must be something happening. You know, I don't like really slow dramas because I like really the excitement out of it. So when it comes to a horror, so definitely it uh, that makes you feel a lot of emotions, whether it's scared or laugh or whatever it is. So which I found find in dramas, uh, you know, I they are like of these emotions. So that's why I like horror because uh, they, they give you strong emotions and, um, whatever it is, it can be, for example, disgust or it can be whatever, but, uh, makes you feel something right. And dramas is just like, you know, it's a bit slow for me. So that's why I found always uh, ho- horrors interesting. And also it's not easy to make a good horror. So that's also a challenge right there. And um, when I was, since I was little, I grew up watching, um, Stargate series, sci-fi, and then also Alfred Hitchcock, so and X Files. So I think the oh, also the the uh, how how did you call it the stories, creep tales, tales from the crypt. Yes. Oh yeah. So all these are kind of influenced me uh, while I was growing up. So it sticked on me, including Star Wars. So it's like blend of all these. So. It doesn't leave you bored at all. You know, there's the action and the thrill, literally, the thrillers, the thrill out of it. I loved Tales from the Crypt. Yeah, me too, me too. <laughs> so we were mentioning at the beginning of the interview, Hard Target 2. Yes. Tell us about that one. So basically, uh, I had a very, uh, I 
I got I was honored to work on a movie, uh, Hard Target 2, with Scott Atkins, directed by uh, Roel Reine, uh, he's an amazing director, and um, so I get, got this chance to work with them, and uh, it's an action movie, I'm playing a girlfriend, a friend of Scott in this movie, and it's this, it's actually a dramatic role, but in action movie, so it's a bit of a contrast there, but um, definitely recommend to watch. It's on DVDs, and um, so you can fi- check it out. And the other um, movie currently that is on Netflix, you can find, it's called Ghost House. So that's playing right now, so you can watch it. Those who have a Netflix sus- subscription, so you can find me in the movie called Ghost House. It was shot in Thailand, as well as uh, a Hard Target 2 was shot in Thailand. So it's very nice. I was reading on your website that, you worked with Blake Lively. Uh, yes, correct. I was working as her double uh, in a movie called All I See Is You that is currently in uh, on Netflix as well. So it was a long, long time ago. <laughs> yeah? One of my first tastes of uh, Hollywood movies. I got to work with uh, To Be Her Double, with, uh, and uh, the movie is directed by uh, Mark Forster who directed the movie The Quantum of Solace, the Bond movie. So it was an honor to work with him. I learned a lot throughout the shooting. It was uh, more than two months. And uh, it was great. I learned so much from the top of the people in the Hollywood. I learned a lot about the film production. That's why, actually, one of the reasons why I wanted to do my own production is that I knew that I can do it, you know. So I just... I just started to do it myself. I enjoy very much film production. Now you're saying that was your first taste of Hollywood. Yes. Was that intimidating for you or were you confident? Yeah, no, it was not. No, definitely not. I enjoyed very much to working with all of them. I enjoyed I enjoyed it very much. I was confident, yes, that's the answer. <laughs> so if you had to pick a favorite part of the entire process, whether it's directing, acting, writing, would it be possible to pick your favorite? Oh, that's hard to say. I think I would say the acting. Yeah, my favorite is acting, definitely. Why is that? Um, because I like to live other people's uh, the 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 life of the from the point of view of another character, which you can become when you work on the script on the movie. So that's what I I enjoy the exploration of the character. And you live in London these days. Yes, I'm based in London. What is that like? Oh, it's really nice. I mean, the surprisingly this year the weather was very sunny and the summer was very hot, so it was very nice. That's people are very lovely and. I don't know. I can I can't complain. It's really nice living in London. If you could have any dream come true for your life, what would you say it would be? What are you What are you hoping to accomplish? Uh, what I'm hoping to accomplish is uh, actually I know what my dream is. I really want to be a main actress in the in the top uh, sci-fi and fantasy movies such as uh, Star Wars or uh, movies like Prometheus or Interstellar or uh, Hobbit, Hobbit movies. So basically, I want to be an elf one day, <laughs> hopefully. So but high budget, high budget sci-fi and um, fantasy movies to have a main role and eventually maybe direct one of them as well. When you're not doing movies, when you're not acting or writing, what do you like to do with your time? hobbies my hobbies well i really like to travel so i like to go for a vacation when i can and uh i ah, this, uh, my past my past two years is all about acting writing so it's so uh, difficult to think of a hobby but i like to go to cinema i watch a lot of movies yeah i watch a lot of movies and just uh, spending time with my family when i can and travel to back home to Slovakia and visit my family friends. And I have two little dogs, uh, the couple Meranians, boy and girl. So basically spending time with them. Hmm. 
Is it hard being away from home? Uh, not not really. I mean, I, um, I'm i used to it. Since I was 16, I was not living in Slovakia. I was kind of traveling around and working and living in many countries. So um, I'm used to it, but I go home very often sometimes. So I we all, every time I go, I spend quality time with my family and make sure that I spend enough time with them. So, yeah, I see them very often. And we speak every day as well. I always like to give my guests the stage at the end. I like to just let them take the microphone. Not just <laughs> not just limited to your craft. What would you say to anyone who's tuning in? Uh, I would say that um, maybe something more about independent filmmaking. Uh, the thing is behind every independent filmmakers are those who are supporting the independent filmmakers such as myself and the way you can support is to check out what we do and unlike big studios who have a big budget and uh, cast they have uh, they can uh, pay for marketing and everything else uh, independent filmmakers don't have that luxury because most of the times the projects are self-funded such as mine currently daytime nightmare it was self-funded project the reason why I made this movie is to show you what I can do, um, what I can create myself, and uh, hopefully bring it to the world. So the way you can, uh, I can bring the movie to you is if if you have a chance to check out the website and let's say give a like or just uh, click on the pictures, check it out what I do, and eventually follow up with the movie and uh, see the progress. So. Please check out all the social media. I am on Instagram, on Facebook as Katrina Gray. I have a website also, Katrina Gray. On Twitter too, Katrina Gray. And the movie is called Eta Nightmare and it's on uh, Facebook and also Twitter. So please check out uh, all the updates and uh, just follow up with the movie and see what we do. Thanks. <laughs> and that website, it's katrinagray.com. K-A-T-R-I-N-A-G-R-E-Y dot com. One more question. Who is Katrina Gray? Who are you at heart? I am an actress, a scriptwriter, and filmmaker. That's what I am. Well, thank you very much for spending time with us. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me on your show. It was a pleasure. Thank you again for having me, and it was nice talking to you. Absolutely. All right. Till next time. Till next time. Bye-bye.